Okay, here's the cat's stomach, and so here's the fundus, and the esophagus is connecting here, so this would be the cardia. And this larger part of the stomach here is called the body, and where it tapers off, it becomes the pylorus, and inside here you have that pyloric sphincter. Uh, on the lesser curvature of the stomach, which is right here, you have a little pad of um, adipose tissue and loose connective tissue. That's the lesser omentum. So the lesser omentum is on the lesser curvature. The greater omentum is this large apron-shaped fat body that attaches to the greater curvature of the stomach. So all of this adipose is what you would call visceral fat, called the greater omentum. And then here's the spleen, and between the stomach and the spleen, you have a thickening of adipose tissue known as the gastrosplenic ligament, gastro for stomach, splenic for spleen. Um, also, the tissues that would line the abdominal cavity, and this is really nice right here, this opaque membrane that's lining the abdominal cavity, is your parietal peritoneum. And so we can kind of pull up on that right there. And covering the surface of all the organs, that includes the stomach, the liver, the intestines, is a visceral peritoneum. And the space between the two would be the peritoneal cavity with serous fluid. If I take the small intestine, you can clear, clearly identify the duodenum, you know, this first um, shortest part. And it has the pancreas up against it. So the duodenum has the pancreas, and you can see the pancreas also under that greater omentum, right along the edge of it. So the pancreas is very long. It stretches from the spleen, which is on the cat's left side, all the way over to the duodenum. And then when I pull up on the small intestine, you see that there is another membrane with blood vessels running through it. That's the mesentery proper and it anchors the small intestine in place. So it's a fan-shaped membrane associated with the small intestine. So if you go to where the large intestine is found, and um, the large intestine is a little bit different in the cat. It's sort of shaped like a question mark. Um, and over here, this is where the ileum comes in and attaches to the large intestine. And this blind ending pouch is the cecum right there. And the cecum does not have an appendix attached to it in the cat. The cat does not have an appendix. But um, in the cat, you're going to have a little short stretch of ascending colon, very, very short, if at all, a very short stretch of transverse colon, and then the rest of the colon is going to be the descending colon until you get into the pelvic cavity deeper and it becomes the rectum. So if we open up, and this one is not opened up, but that's okay, we will open this up now uh, to see the ileocecal valve. We'll cut through the cecum, we'll remove the fecal material from there, and we should see our nice little ileocecal valve. Which looks like a little donut or a belly button. Right there, that is very small too. Um, so there is your ileocecal valve and then the cecum is down here. Good, that's good.